Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Berseria and we're in the beginning of a boss battle because good lord I had to actually cut the episodes up a little bit because I got a little bit tad too long. But yeah, we're going to be going after Tethered Malik 1 who is weak to neutral damage. Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah. How much support do you have? Oh, you got like... See? in the chest that's all you give me oh stun damage all right there was a lot of shit that went down last episode <laughs> to say the least um so yeah these guys they're not heroes we like that's clear that's been clear for a while now that these guys are meant to be the anti-hero dark hero type gang which is fine i like that sort of jab um and they're not wrong for the most part like the gang has done nothing, like, aside from a few s stuff, some stuff. They've done some good stuff. They've done mostly bad stuff, like the whole sacrificing a village by taking Therian away and everyone turning into demons. That's really bad. That's really bad. Um, that's the destroyed village they talked about. I mean, we also set Helvies on fire. Yeah, we also killed a bunch of exorcists. We regretted some of them. You wronged me. Here's your justice. Oh, that must suck for Lopset going after his little buddy like that. Probably, I don't know. Actually, from last episode, I don't think Lopset gives a shit anymore. <laughs> I think I think he's just he's just ready to go with the flow now. <laughs> Though he loves the velvet. Dude, that was a lot of damage. What is that called? It's like Resurrect, I think he's talking about. That was the undead one. Malik, uh, number one's not undead. He's unknown. That's different. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Crush. Oh, Malkior. Oh, what are you weak in? You're weak to uh, the wind. Let's change this up. We got wind, wind, swallow dance. I don't like swallow dance, but we're gonna go with it for now. Moonlight oh, cyclone, falcon, or rising falcon, and shadow flow. Sure, these are all bad moves, I think, actually. Um. Okay, I was wondering what the fuck Roku was doing. Oh, he has like one soul left. Okay, can we just talk about how badass the amount of damage I did to uh, him is? It was pretty badass. I should do something about... Uh, Malkior, not Malkior, uh, Roku. I mean, you're, you're not that hard, to be quite honest. I don't actually know why you're not that hard. Actually, to be fair, the last the few battles have been, boss battle-wise, have been kind of easy. Aside from the story ones that kicked my ass. Oh, and the Code Red Demon. Not really a boss fight, though. Ooh, no, okay, you only had one left, so that's fine. Shifted space. Oh, I gotta totally, like, kick you. And then run away. Oh, we're slowed. Slow. Lock. Okay, Lopset, I was gonna say, you son of a bitch. I need, I need to come over here. Hey, number one, how's it going? Still alive? Ah, that's surprising. No, we just go over there and eat them. Oh god, damn it, you sons of bitches! I was actually, I was so happy. I was so happy. I was like, we're gonna get so much goddamn grade. Oh shit! Can I do this mid battle? Oh, I don't have anything else. Okay. You? 
All right. We want to make sure all the mastered stuff is gone. We don't have anything else for you, huh? Do we have anything stronger? That's stronger. Yeah. I think Eleanor just revived him, which is good. <laughs> Gemberia! Oh, I can't believe you killed both of them. I mean, I can, because you're a dick, but still. Did he move? No, I think Malcolm's just been standing there the whole time. Oh, dog! Couple more claws, I'm gonna have my Mysticarth back. Hopefully we can kill you and get a boost of the freaking grade, though. I think we're... With two deaths, we're already kind of fucked. But oh well. Oh, god damn, I love stunning you. I love stunning everyone. Yeah, we beat the hell out of him with that. Oh, he's not stunned anymore. That's oh shit! Damn it, he's not stunned anymore. Never mind. Oh, we crushed him though. Awesome. Eat him. Tell Artorius and you know me not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. Yeah, that's reasonable. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. You spread havoc and destruction all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord. The irredeemable embodiment of sin. Now you My made me this way. It is the exorcist duty to destroy you this is your you fault too lot. how about you keep talking and tell us where i freed is you'll regret this i can feel he know me not he's coming we can fight here no longer bienfu close the rift i can't come forth Savid? Nice shot. What are you doing here? Carelessness will get you killed. Savid! <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean thanks for saving I'm Savid, happy you're here. Hero and role model. Thank you for saving us, Savid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected next Where'd number one go? Space. Was he blasted away too? Is there a way out? There is now that I busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Yeah, but can we talk about how this area looks like, uh... Oh, there's number one. Who's that? Number one. His name is number one. Hey, wanna come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. <laughs> That's Great. an understatement. On, kid. What are you doing? Rescuing a you little kid? Leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. Eisen, it's okay. You weren't there when we did this. For, well, we didn't exactly do it for Lop City. Just, just kind of stole him. But we're not gonna leave him alone. Uh, so we got Fairy Circle, Elixir of Vate, and Plundering Ghost. Everyone gained a level because we gained a lot of experience. Mastered a bunch of stuff, which is good. Oh, sweet expedition! A new title, Grappler. Scout. Everyone out. All right, let's quickly look at our, our equipment. Nothing mastered here. We got nothing mastered there. That took a while. Let's go back to this. This. We had, ooh, 500. 85. 85 it is, then. J. 
just the this just this one all right cool um anything else that we need to do here do we gain any uh we do have one of these i don't know where the hell that came from uh the, yeah oh yeah that's that's what it was called like calic one calic calyx i don't know if it was that's how you pronounce it this is totally the post game area of zesteria get the calyx one all right yeah so yeah this is totally post game of Zestaria. I knew I'd come back and finish it one day. Just didn't think it was going to be in a different you game. You awfully chipper, Velvet. I'm fine. And I guess I have you to think as well. Perhaps. But gratitude doesn't suit you. Now, say ah. Uh. Huh? I need to see your teeth. Why? I made a hundred gold bet that you'd break, remember? So, I need to see if you've broken anything. Let's start with those teeth. Help us out, kiddo. All right. I just need to check our front teeth, right? Front teeth, canines, whatever. Just get in there and take a good hard look. Kinky. You didn't mean that literally, did you? Why are you making Fee do the checking? Acting the innocent maiden, are we? Well, I suppose that some say that showing the inside of your mouth can be more personal than being seen naked. Wait, what? What? Seriously? No! Lucky Lou, you're only making this even more awkward. Also, her okay, voice changed. Okay, you cooperate or not? We can't settle the bet until we know the tooth. Fine, but let's check the ones in my left hand first. Good. I believe Bianfu can assist with that. <laughs> oh, leave, me, leave me out of this! <laughs> She's squeezing me! Ouch! Those things hurt! <laughs> Looks like Velvet is just fine. Yeah, the sparks returned to her eyes. But, uh, is showing the inside of your mouth really that embarrassing? No. What? Keep your intrusive questions to yourself. What? I'm really confused by that. Also, yeah, uh, her voice is a little less... The size of the I'm art out for revenge the now. Just what is the Abbey planning to use it for? Whatever it is, they're trying hard to keep it hidden. Can't be anything good. Yeah, I kind of was hoping he was in my party. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anything here, though. I mean, last check. Thank you. Last time I was here, there was a bunch of really angry monsters. There's one. Are you new? A forward killer. No, but I might as well keep this in since I was talking. Uh, yeah. If you haven't played Zestaria, there is post-game content, and in area with the same name and well, same look as this place. So. Probably the same place. And I never finished that content because I got really annoyed by it. <laughs> hey, Zestiria's difficulty was definitely on a different scale than uh, this game. Like this game, I'm playing on hard. Um, I played Zestiria on normal through most of the game up until like a certain point where I switched to moderate. Style is really unique. You were just commenting on his style? It's been a while since you did that. Should've actually let that play out, because I don't think I ever heard that one before. Yeah, we've definitely fought all these enemies before. Which is fine. Is, did enemies get faster? Because it seems like I can't just out, outrun the enemies anymore. An elixir? Wait, what? Really? Okay. <laughs> those, those are rare items. Um, yeah, that's kind of surprising. Is that... Please room? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't really get those from time to time. Alright, so it looks like there is a way down there. We'll get that bronze chest. Hell, it might be another elixir. That would be kind of dope. Um, we still we really need some new equipment. Because, like, Velvet needs a new weapon. Not ah, okay. We don't need new equipment. Is anyone, like, stuck mastered on something? Boots. Yeah. Oh, we're so close. One more battle. I might. Hey, who was that kid anyway? He and I used to be tethered to an exorcist named Lady Teresa. God rest her he soul. Was number one. It's in her velvet stomach. Two. Oh ho, a friend of yours then. So he went feral after that Teresa lady fell. No. Yeah. I found Velvet and the others. But he probably had nowhere to go. A stray Moloch stripped of his Wait, free what? will won't go much further than a demon's belly. 
Anyway, seems like the only people I run into these days are kids. I'm more in the market for an unattached woman with a pretty face. We had one of um, those too. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Grow a sense of humor, kid. Anyway, relax. I'll keep an eye on him until he's in command of himself again. All right? Can't you just, just shoot him? One more reason to bring the Abbey down. Right. Thanks, Savid. Oh yeah, that's another thing I want to mention. Seeing how I've been kind of recording for a multiple episode now without a break, and it's all still relevant in my head. Um, I don't want to come off as the Abbey's right. They're not right. They—they're not right. Also, I, well, let's kill this guy. I don't think we have um, a just to finish, hopefully finish the uh, the boots, the running hikes. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think the Abbey's right. They're—they're they're still not good people. On the surface, they appear right, though, because they're trying to make a world without demons. That appears right. And in the core of it, is it? If I live in this world, probably, because good lord, I would not want to have to fight demons. I think I mentioned that before. But, you know, suppression, no free will, that's kind of not cool. Um, taking the will away from Malakim, really not cool either. Really shouldn't do that. Running hike's good. All right. Yeah, I, I don't want to come off as like, uh, well, the, the party's in the complete wrong. They're wrong. We're not good people. Like, that's that's true. We're not good people. Uh, though most of us aren't really people. So I guess that's fine. Where's the running hikes? There it is. Yeah, no, I think the two main parties in this game, which is kind of hilarious given how uh, tropey JRPGs can get, I think the two main parties in uh, this game are just both bad. <laughs> They're just not good people. I mean, Eleanor's good, Lafayette is good for the most part. I mean, he did say he would take on the world if they stood against Velvet. That's a little much. Uh, Velvet seems happier now, which is good. I think I said this before, it might have been during a stream, but I like these characters, but I definitely would I not want to have to meet them. Can you think <laughs> of a good name for the kid? You're giving number one a name? Yeah. How about Uno? He can't remember his true name, and calling him by a number seems mean, you know? Yeah. I was really happy when Velvet gave me my name. Hey, I've got this. How about Hajime? It means the first, and he's number one, right? In that case, why not just go with Ichiro? No way. That was Shigure's childhood name. Because he was better than why you. Why that matter to us? It should be softer. How about Ichi? Or maybe something like Numbi? Oh, you're dumb. Numbi. That was dumb. <laughs> Where'd that one come from? It's like number, but uh, more cute. Let's just forget that one. I don't think we should reference his old number. I know, all. right? Um, how about Bob? Okay, uh, Bob? Is that just because of his hairstyle? That's really reaching. <laughs> Actually, I kind of like it. If it's too plain, how about Bobby? Hmm, that isn't bad. Right? Then number one is hereby renamed... Stop it, you two! You don't understand it at all! No, I don't. Bobby doesn't want a name that sounds cute! There's nothing wrong with Bobbies. Also, sorry so? to all the Bobbies out there that watching this. quite an outburst. <laughs> The kid has a point. We need something with more panache. How about Silva? Silva? His hair and pendant are both silver. Hmm. I like it. It's got a certain mystique about it. Silva. Yeah, it sounds cool. Well, if his old buddy Laffy said approves, then Silva it is. Well done, first mate. Praise from you is wasted on me. <laughs> <laughs> then consider it praise from Silva instead. Right. Time to go give him the good news. Hey, the Moloch formerly known as Number One. You've got a new name. <laughs> glad he got a good name. <laughs> oh man, I like Zabid. Put a little more thought into naming you too. That's all right. You need to steer your own ship, right, Eisen? You're the one who taught me that. <laughs> you know just what to say, don't you? Moloch formerly known as Number Two. <laughs> 
Uh, Magilu gave it her all. Magilu, what were you up to while we were lost in the Earth Pulse? I was ringing Being the bell. tortured? The rift was open the whole time. Couldn't you hear me? I don't remember hearing any bells. She was fighting with Lord Melchior. She really gave it her all. Bianfu, don't give him the wrong impression. But you endured so much. It was... It was so moving. And out of character. Yes, yes I did endure. For the most part. It was so hard not to laugh. Did the old man tell you a joke or something? No, he tortured the fuck out of her. Contest. And oh, the faces that old man can make. I kept picturing him as a young man, but with that same wrinkled face, and it was so hard not to crack. <laughs> I needed to keep myself in check. My desire to laugh was only broken by the ringing of the bell. Clang! Crash! What a thrill! Wait, was that the only thing that broke Mogilu? Are you asking if he broke my heart? Like I'm fishing for sympathy? That's not what I meant at all. Yeah, I don't know what that you means. Watch over the Earth Pulse Rift for us. I didn't say that. Stop trying to give me a participation medal. Just take it. After all, you don't care either way, right? True that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know all the... No, we'll just fight this guy. When they talk about breaking hearts, do they, do they just mean, like, taking away your free will? Is that what they're trying to say? Because I get that one. Like, I don't know why it was called breaking hearts, though. That, that one's just confusing on me. Also, is Malkilu related to Malkior? Like, I know where the Maven name is supposed to signify, uh, signify um, but he's Malkior Maven, right? We found that out, like, way earlier in the game in the library at the, the castle. Um, and she said her name was Malkilu Maven. Hmm. So I would assume yes. Though, isn't that more of a title anyways um i think Ooh. um all right let's do A this dragon. it looks like it's been captured just like the therians but why would they hold a dragon captive hmm an art connects this place to the earth pulse that's probably why we were taken here earth pulse so it's got something to do with the nomi not that would be the obvious conclusion. I don't get it. Explain. Small words. Agreed. Very well. You're part of all this, too. Velvet. I'm fine now. I promise. I changed my voice and everything. All right. Yeah? I see. Oh, they were explaining it to him. know me not's true identity. So, now that you know, can you still fight him? It's only given me more reason to kill him, and the Shepherd. You're one ice-cold girl. There's still one thing bothering me. Inominat needs to eat Malevolence to awaken. Once he does, he'll use his power to suppress negative emotions. But when humans can't create any more Malevolence, what will happen to Inominat? He'll run out of things to eat. And maybe die? Hmm. Wouldn't he just go back to sleep? That probably but seems more does, likely. Then his power will fade, and humanity will start creating malevolence again, right? In order for Inomi not to eternally suppress negative emotions... He needs an infinite, powerful source of malevolence to feed off of. For example, that produced by an immortal dragon. Huh. Which would make this place a sort of dragon farm, created so he could control humanity forever. You can't be serious. That's a good idea. Speculation, but it all makes sense. They can't think of Malakim as anything but tools. They're a little racist. How this is true. They sacrifice for their ideal world of tranquility. Should we kill the dragon, a captive dragon? <sighs> what was it that I believed in all that time? The image I'd built of the Abbey is crumbling from the bottom up. Yeah, they're not exactly squeaky clean. You make me depressed too. Is this about the dragon farm? Yes. I strongly doubt even the Abbey has the power to manipulate dragons so freely. Then that dragon... Wasn't a dragon before it came here? That's the natural assumption. They probably brought the Malakir as a captive, then turned him into a dragon. Just like Melchior did, eh? Is there no line they won't cross? I don't know what to say. It's not your fault, Madame Eleanor! But spawning dragons in addition to Therians... Do you think they'll figure out a way to make humans, too? 
Yes. Wait, that's awful! I can't believe you went there! Uh... Wait, what? Oh! We don't dare yeah, free it. I got it. It'd be too dangerous. Guess humans are like nasty creatures. Damn the Abbey and their twisted morality. You sure you don't want to free this thing? I'm pretty sure we could probably take it. Maybe. What level are we? Ah, we could probably take it. Uh, yeah, like, like I was saying, Abby, at its core, the higher-up Abbeys, like the people in control, they're not good people. They're obviously out for another agenda aside from freeing the world from demons. The baseline exorcists, they seem to be all right. I'm not talking about, like, Oscar and Teresa, though. They seem to be... Well, Oscar seemed to be a generally upholdant citizen or good person. Um, Teresa seemed to have a thing for her brother and went a little, well, hated everything. Oh, do these, uh, or hated anyone that went against their brother. Yeah, so this, like, uh, same thing! The same thing! I remember that, like, the, the, the Hellions could not cross these thresholds for some reason in, uh, Sisteria. I don't know why. So there's probably just no mapping there for their movements, which is kind of funny. Uh, soul bottle. No, don't touch this. Don't touch this. You can't touch this. <laughs> you can't touch this. You can't touch this. All right, let's go to the least close to that exit. Excuse me, coming through. I really should go back and finish Sisteria and Zisteria. Velvet? What is it? I was once your sister's child, right? Then my father is... Look, you were reborn, right? Yeah. Honestly, I really don't know anything about how being reborn works. But to me, what you see, what you hear, and what you feel, that's what's important. Whoever we used to be in another life, I'm me now, and you're you. That's all there is to it. Velvet. That's true. Aizen said that not all Malakim are humans who have been reborn, right? Does that mean they could be reincarnations of birds or fish or beasts? That's not, 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 not true! So, if a boy was a dog in a past life, that wouldn't make him part of the dog's family now. Yeah. I'm me, I guess. Hmm. But you're Velvet's cute little pup, aren't ya? Mogilu. Be careful. I bite. I take it all back. Just don't bite me. Rebirth is like the Earth in Historia. You're simply built on a larger foundation. But that's not special. Everyone's lives are founded on the past. So, I'm just me. Yep. With a You're special you, circumstance no connected to it. Your fee. And it's not like uh, Zavid's hunt. We'll go to that in a second. And it's not like he was like living. A normal life before he was reborn anyways like Siri seemed to have her memories well at least when at some point she got her memories back I think that seemed to be implied um, but Lavi said he was an unborn child so it's not like he had connection to the family to really do anything or connect memories with anyway skit hey first mate who was that horned demon with the old man I don't know I thought I felt something different about him. If only for just a moment. Did you feel it too? I said, I don't know. I see. <laughs> You're impossible, you know that? We've come across him before, but we never really fought him. My guess is Melchior is controlling him with some sort of illusion. I see. Then it's probably good you didn't fight. A straight battle against him wouldn't be an easy thing. How do you know that? Intuition. I have a nose for these things. There's something fishy about him. That scar on his face. He couldn't be. Oh, okay, so you, you matter, definitely know it? something. You've gone pale. Forget He's it. just really white. It's nothing. We need to get out of here. I have that same problem. Let's go. That's what happens when you don't go in the sun too much. Look, I burn very easily, so I have to hide myself sometimes. So I think we're going to call it here for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's true you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day.